Mark Spitznagel is undoubtedly one of the best investors alive today. At the beginning of 2020, the S&P 500 lost 32% of its value because of the pandemic. But Mark Spitznagel's investment firm, Universal Investments, grew by 4,144%. That's ridiculous. Um, it's ridiculously good. Anyone who hears that will also want to know how he and his hedge fund can perform so well in a time that is so unstable. And that's why um, I'm so grateful that he just published this book called Safe Haven, uh, Investing for Financial Storms, which is about his investment strategy and how he can do so well and Universal Investments can do so well when everyone else in the market is doing really poorly. So that's why I want to read through this book and understand it so that I can apply it to my own finances and, and, and make big returns during downtimes. Um, unfortunately, it is quite difficult to read through. There's math in here. He uses a lot of math, as he should, um, but the math in here is quite difficult. Um, you can't just, it's not that it's difficult, it's that it's hard to understand if you don't do the math yourself. Um, so I haven't used the math, like the logs and the graphing and all of that, that Spitznagel mentions in this book since I was in high school and I graduated in 2016, so five years ago. Um, so what I thought I would do, and, and the other issue is that I still don't understand why he's using the figures that he is and why he's using the math that he is. Um, and so I figured what I would do is uh, work through the math in videos on my iPad and then upload them onto YouTube so that uh, for so that the many other people who are looking at Safe Haven and looking at secondary content who are smarter than me can respond to the questions and issues that I have with the math in Safe Haven and hopefully clarify some of the um, ideas in Safe Haven. So I'm outsourcing my stupidity to be fixed. Um, so, yep. And, and if you also don't understand the math very well, then hopefully by watching the videos that I make, you will better understand what Spitznagel is doing and how you can apply the math to your own financial portfolio. The reason I want to learn this other than the learn the math in Safe Haven other than to make 4,000% returns is because I am a crypto investor. Um, and, you know, in crypto, you have shit coins that will increase in value by 14 million percent over the course of 14 months, like Dogecoin. And, you know, when you have astronomic returns like that, you question um, how much of your portfolio you should put towards just hedging, just, just buying a thousands and thousands of shit coins when even one of them, if you have a dollar in there and it goes astronomical, um, can lead to um, all of the wealth that you could ever need for the rest of your life. So the second reason I'm reading this book is because I want to figure out how I should be balancing my crypto portfolio. This is, of course, ironic because Spitznagel says that Bitcoin, the safest um, cryptocurrency, I guess you could say, of, of all of them all, um, is not a safe haven, according to Spitznagel. So, but, you know, I'm going to take the chance anyways and do it nonetheless. Uh, so what I'll do after I read through this entire book is uh, set myself up a little challenge. I'm going to take $1,000 and I'm going to try and turn it into a million dollars. I'm going to use the math in Safe Haven to try and see um, the quickest way and the safest way that I can turn that thousand dollars into a million dollars using cryptocurrencies. So that'll be a fun little project uh, to do at the end of this book and I hope that you will join me for it all. I hope that you find the videos that I'll make of the math clarifying and correct and if you understand the math better I, than I do, I, I hope that you will actually correct any misconceptions that I understand. And I hope that you enjoy the, the cryptocurrency stuff as well after we finish the math. Thanks.